everyone out there on YouTube, is I, the American E2, signing on, and today, I'm going to be reviewing all the stuff I got from this year's Great Scale Train Show. Let's begin. So, to start things off, we'll be taking a look at the Ertl models. We have Trevor, Lord Harry, Bertram, and City of Truro. Being that these guys were still in their packaging, they're overall pretty solid. From the details such as the molded side rods, their paintwork, and the faces, well just Trevor, Bertram, and Lord Harry, are just astounding in my opinion. My favorites out of all four of them have to be Lord Harry and City of Truro, being that these guys were from the Railway series and they have more detail than Trevor and Bertram. No offense. Their packaging is also rather solid and very nostalgic compared to what we have today. On the back of the box, except for Bertram, they also come with these character cards you can cut out and collect. That's something I wish some of our newer merch today still had. Moving on to take along, take and play and adventures, we have a stock standard Thomas, Molly, Marion, Dark, Gina, and Theo. Despite these not being in their original packaging, they're not too bad and they don't look like they've been played with. Except for Molly. She definitely looks like she's had some Thomas love added to her. Thomas also has a few paint chips here and there, but nowhere as bad as Molly. I don't think I have a favorite out of all these, though the ones I like most are Marion, Gina, and Theo. Marion has a nice movable shovel. Gina seems rather proportionate in my opinion, though the only complaint I have of her is that she has only one nameplate on one side and the other one is missing. And as for Theo, I have to say it's probably down to his moving flywheel on the right side of him. Alright, moving on to my only Bakken models, we have the LBSC Thomas and Spencer's Special Coach. For the LBSC Thomas, if there was one thing I was going to complain about this model first, it would be the packaging. While it's not terrible, I wish they could have given the model a more exclusive packaging like they did with their Celebration Thomas. Other than the package, the model still looks as great as it came out. It has so many beautifully painted details such as the back lamp and lining. He also has much bigger eyebrows which are more accurate to the show. And he's also not a bad runner and runs very smoothly. Now on to Spencer's Special Coach. There's not really that much to say, but this has to be one of my favorite coaches. It's all down to its design with this maroon paintwork and silver buffers that makes it so distinct from all the other express coaches. Finally, to wrap up this video, we have Bachman's 2023 catalog. There's not a lot to talk about this book, but it gives us a nice look at all the models Bachman has or is making, whether it be Thomas related or non-Thomas related. And that, everyone, is everything I bought from this year's train show. Hope you all enjoyed this little review, and I'll see you in the next video.